going to be wait part two. Uh, instead of waiting just for the treat in front of him, we're going to be asking him to wait a distance away from us and then ask him to come. All right, so first thing, I do have his leash on. This is just to make sure that, of course, you know, he doesn't get too far. If he tries to go after a toy or something, you know, I'm able to stop him. So if, when you guys are working on him at home and, you know, maybe there's only one person there, the leash is a great tool to utilize. All right, Mr. Koa. Koa. Okay, so he knows I have the treats. That's perfect, exactly what we want. I'm going to ask him to wait. And then when I ask him to come, I'm going to put him out of sit immediately. And then he can have his treat. All right, so he's doing a really good job being a very patient boy right now. I'm going to ask him to wait. Make sure that you're very assertive when you ask him to do this. Um, and, you know, if, if he moves, make sure that you put him right back to where he was before. It may take a couple of times, but eventually he will get the hang of it. He's a really smart boy. Koa, wait. Uh -uh. Wait. Uh -uh. He's trying to be really cute right now, but we're asking him to wait. So as soon as he moves, uh -uh. He sat back down. He knows what he's supposed to do before he gets a goodie, but we're just going to ask him to wait. I'm only going one step back, and then I will increase the distance here. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. All right, so now I'm going to ask him to wait. Okay, come. make him wait very long at all and you know as soon as he came to me he went to a sit that was perfect exactly what I was looking for and like I said before when you're working on this at home definitely um, work on the distance and the duration and then we will and then we will be able to uh, increase you know you can guide you guys can go into another room eventually and ask him to wait. He can wait before he eats his food, like in the other video. I'm gonna do it one more time. Sit. Oh, sit.